hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be introducing you to the interface of um start pro v8i then i'll be showing you all the consoles and um, all the functions that you'll be needing to do your model and then the analysis okay so let's go and see how that looks like so go to um new project and then you can just pick the space you will give it a name here um let's say interface all right and then you can decide to um, change your location all right so um, for the length I'll be using meter and then for the force I'll be using kilonewton okay so that I can have something like kilonewton and meter if you remember in the last video when we were using the um, the the units we picked metric okay but don't forget that decimeter meter kilometer millimeter centimeter they are still um, metric so you have to be specific on the kind of metric you want okay so i'll be picking meter and then kilo anything for this all right so click on next and then just um select the add beam and then click on finish all right so this is how the um interface looks like um if you still remember in the last video i was the one that chose the um, black background okay so that is not um a big deal if you want a white background you could have chosen it from from that side okay but you can still change it back if you prefer the the white background all right so let me just introduce you to everything we have here the first thing i'll be introducing to you here are the cursors in start pro we have six cursors number one we have the node cursor we have the uh the beam cursor we have the plate cursor we have the um the surface cursor we have the solid cursor and we have the geometric cursor all right so let's take them one by one this node cursor is only available for you to select a particular node you know where you have a node node is um joint you know points that you have a joint so that is node this can be used to select just node it cannot select a beam it cannot select a uh, it cannot select a plate a plate simply means i'm slab okay so this one the second one is for beam you'll be using this one to select a beam if you want to delete a beam you know you have to select the beam before you delete it so this is the cursor you will use to select that beam you can you you can't use any other thing to select a beam except this cursor okay so this one is for um for plates plate simply means slab so when you have a slab and you want to select that slab you'll be using this third cursor you cannot use a beam cursor to select a slab which is um, a plate okay so this one is for surface whenever you create a surface and you want to click on that surface this is the cursor you'll be using um this one is for uh for solid whenever you have a solid object like a cuboid or something this is the cursor you'll be using to select that and then the last one this is um geometry so geometry cursor can be used to select beam so for example when you want to change something about the geometry of a beam then you use the geometry cursor to select that beam then you now change what you want to um, change in the geometry okay so these are the six cursors and then let's see how you can use them all right what you have here is a continuous beam consisting of four spans all right so you have the beam and then you have five um pin support or you, what you call inch support okay so this is a beam but let me select the beam okay i'm having difficulty in selecting this beam that's simply because um the cursor that is being activated here is the plate cursor which means that this can only select split but this is a beam if i want to select this beam then i have to click on this particular beam you can see beam cursor so i've clicked on it then let me see if i'll be able to select this now okay you can see that has been selected so let's say i want to delete it you can just hit delete on your uh on your button then you see okay do you want to delete if you want to delete you say okay all right let me say okay um then but that's not what i want to do let me just say no and then control z so that i can come back okay so this is how you can do that okay you know this is a joint for example when you pick this beam you can see this beam is different from this beam okay but in between this beam and this beam there's a joint where you have a support okay so if i want to click on that joint you know that joint is a node i i am i'll be unable to pick it with this cursor whenever i use this cursor it will just be selecting the beam so to do that all you just need to do is you need to click on the node cursor then when you come here you can see the node has been selected you can see the node in red color okay so you can see the node has been selected all right so that is how you use that okay 
okay so this is another frame you can see this is now um, a portal frame It's different from the one you had before which is just uh, you know a line object so this is a 3d object where you have um, you know you have the x direction the y direction and the z direction okay so you have um, two stories you have um, column at this story you have another column here you have um, beam you have um, beam okay so um, let's see how we can use the cursor in start pro a beam is modeled the same way a column is modeled so there's no difference between beam and column as far as modeling is concerned okay then when you have to do with the um the design and the analysis it will understand how to um design or analyze it but while you are modeling you have the same um the same method of modeling okay so whenever you want to select a column you should be using a beam cursor a beam cursor will be used to select a column as well okay so to select this column all you just need to do make sure you are you are using the uh, the beam cursor which is this one then you can pick this column you can use it to pick this beam and then you know several things like that so if you want to pick up uh, the joints all you just need to do is um, use the node cursor then let's try to drag all over everything you see all of the node we get selected you can see um, everything in red you can see this is in red this is in red this this you can see all of the node are selected that's the that's what you're seeing in red color so if you want to select the um the slab all you just need to do is um pick the plate cursor okay and then let's try to drag everything okay so you can see the slab that is in red color you can see the slab at the top here yeah, and you can see the slab in this um uh, in this level too okay so you can if you click on this there's nothing here you can see it will not select it but click on this that's a slab click on this there's a slab yeah there's a slab there's a slab so that is a um, plate cursor so that is how you use that um cursor in this video you've seen how you can work with the cursor the different kind of cursor you have and then in the next video i'll be introducing you to the views the different views we have then we can now move into um you know the proper on the proper use of um, Start Pro. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.